Hey, this is Eric over at Techno RV, and today I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about the Pepwave Max BR1 Mini Cat 6. This is the newest generation of Cat 6, and the improvements of this generation over the older generation Cat 6 is they have increased the throughput uh, dramatically from 100 megs to 300 megs throughput. So that is an incredible improvement. And also another thing that they did with this is that they also made it to where it is dual Wi-Fi as WAN. So now that if you get the failover license with this, that we'll talk more about here in a little bit, you now can access 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi as WAN. So that is a great improvement there. This is uh, also the lowest price PEP wave that we offer. So that makes it quite popular because it packs a lot of power and it is at a great price point. So in this video, we're gonna talk about all the features of this and then we're also gonna go through what is in the box here. And so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want you to know is that this unit can handle all of the major carriers. So we're talking AT&T, Verizon, uh, the old Sprint stuff, T-Mobile, and it also covers uh, Canadian carriers like uh, Rogers, Bell and Telus, uh, and it has all of the updated bands that you would want access to. Now, if you're a T-Mobile user, uh, the CAT6 modem does not access that, that band 71, but you're gonna be good on every, everything else. Uh, if you want the band 71, then uh, you're gonna to need to look at uh, either the uh, CAT 20 models or the uh, CAT 7 models, they'll, they'll all do it. So uh, if that's a concern of yours and you have more questions about that, you can contact us about that. So let's just go ahead and talk about the speeds that uh, this unit can handle. So now when I say theoretical speeds, this is more like laboratory type speeds. Um, obviously real world, when you start talking about line of sight, what the cell tower can actually provide, typically your limiting factor on speeds is gonna be your cell plan, uh, what that particular cell provider can even provide or the cell tower can actually provide for you and it's typically not going to be a pep wave device because uh, they uh, have plenty of download speeds and upload speeds uh, so the the max br1 mini is rated at 300 megabits per second down and 50 megabits per, per second upload speeds so again if i mean you can do a lot with 300 down and 50 up if you're looking for you know more speeds than that then you just need to in, uh, go up on the category levels and again we have you know uh, cat 20 uh, modems uh, 5g type modems and we also have dual band uh, modems that have a cat 7 and a cat 12 modem in them so now we've talked about speed i want to talk about something called carrier aggregation because that's actually something uh, a, a feature that actually helps you get better speeds Carrier aggregation is something that actually just allows you to have access to multiple carrier bands at the same time. So imagine a cell tower has, say, five, six, seven different bands that you can access, but let's say your device can only access one of those bands, and let's say that band is completely congested at the time that you were trying to access it. So you would have a bad experience. When you have uh, aggregation, multiple aggregation, then that means you can access more than one band at a time. And so this unit right here is two times aggregation, which means that it can connect to two bands at the same time. So even if one band was congested, it's gonna to connect to another. Uh, if that band is, is nice and clean, then even though somebody that could only connect to that one band would have a bad experience because you had two bands, you would have a much better experience because of that aggregation. Uh, we've already talked a little bit about uh, Wi-Fi as WAN, and so this unit is dual band Wi-Fi AP and Wi-Fi as WAN. Let's get the Wi-Fi AP out of the way first. Uh, the AP is basically your device, like your smartphone, wirelessly connecting to this device. So this, this device is gonna have cellular service coming in and then you'll need to connect wirelessly to this device. 
So because it's dual band, you'll be able to do that with either 2.4 uh, gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. So most smartphones these days are doing dual band, so it's nice that this also will do that. The Wi-Fi is WAN is also dual band, 2.4 and 5. That means this device connecting to, say, the RV park that may have uh, Wi-Fi. Um, and if they have dual band for you to access, this will be able to do that. Now, I want to make it very clear that out of the box, these Max BR1 minis, uh, you don't have access to that Wi-Fi as when unless you buy a failover license. Once you buy the failover license, it's a one-time fee, then it opens up that Wi-Fi is WAN uh, and the WAN port on the back, which is basically hard lining in a, uh, a internet connection. When you buy that failover license, it will basically open those up and activate it. And that's a one-time fee and that's for life. So out of the box, you don't have Wi-Fi as WAN, but when you get the failover license, it opens it all up, okay? And then, then you'll have dual band from there. Um, so anyway, that's a good thing that, that they offer that dual band. And most people that get this unit, they do go ahead and get the failover license because it's a one-time thing and you just um, buy it and get it over with. So the Max BR1 Mini does use MIMO antenna technology for its wireless communication. MIMO is, means multiple in, multiple out antennas. So basically using multiple antennas for your communication uh, to the, say the cell tower. So if you have multiple antennas on your end and there's multiple antennas on the transmitter side, then basically uh, those antennas at each end of the circuit are combined to uh, minimize errors in that communication to make it a much cleaner communication. And by doing that, uh, it can increase and improve the performance of that cellular connection and optimize speeds as well. So that's a good thing. Everybody is uh, concerned about security uh, because you may be sending sensitive information uh, via cellular connection. And so you'll be glad to know that PepWave uh, utilizes VPN technology uh, with its transmission. And basically what it does is whenever you're transmitting information, it breaks that transmission down, the data, into very small pieces. I'm just talking from a high level here. So it's gonna break that transmission down into very small pieces. And then each of those small pieces is going to be coded with military grade encryption. So each individual piece uh, you know, is not enough to make up the whole picture anyway, and then those individual pieces are uh, highly encrypted. So PepWave has always been known for its security uh, because of the measures that they take to ensure that your uh, transmissions are secure and safe. And so that's basically how they do it, and that's, uh, that's across all the PepWave products, but it is also the case in the BR1 Max Mini. Hey, before we move on to the open box portion of this video, I want to talk to you just real quickly about uh, why you would buy your PepWave from Techno RV. And there's just a few quick reasons I want to review. One, pricing uh, is always a concern for a consumer, and we will always have the lowest price. PepWave has minimum pricing guidelines for all of its certified manufacturers. Uh, we are a certified PepWave uh, dealer. And so they say, hey, here's the lowest you can sell it at, and we always sell at that lowest price. Now, if you happen to find somebody that was going below what the manufacturer allows, uh, then you can always call us, and we will always uh, match that from a certified dealer. So uh, price, always going to be the lowest at Techno RV. And then probably the most important thing is our support. Uh, we have built our entire business on uh, great support. We have uh, agents that are highly trained in PepWave, and I guess what sets us apart from everybody else is that not only do we have email, live chat, but I believe that we're the only uh, people in the market that actually do good old-fashioned phone support. And so uh, that's important because, you know, you may have questions, you may want somebody to just kind of walk you through something. And if you're the type of person that every now and again just wants to pick up the phone and talk to somebody, then we're going to give that for you. In addition, it's free. We don't charge you for anything for our support. 
Uh, we never charge you for that. So free support uh, is a big deal. When you order from us, you're going to get the Techno RV Learning Series, which is going to uh, is documents and videos that we walk you through how to uh, work your unit and get it all set up. We're always going to make sure you're successful with your unit. That's the bottom line. So when you're paying this kind of money for a device, you want to make sure that you have that support and that somebody's going to be there for you and Techno RV will absolutely be there for you. So let's get back into the open box portion of this. All right, to save us a little time, I went ahead and unloaded the box because I want to make sure that you know uh, what's in here and we're going to talk about all the ports on the Max BR1 Mini as well. So. When you get, in, get your box, of course, you've got your main unit here, and you're also going to get uh, two uh, cellular antennas, uh, which, I'm sorry, are actually here, and you're going to get two Wi-Fi antennas as well, because remember, we have the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi channels on this. In addition, uh, they upgraded this unit uh, from the older units from a barrel style connection for your power supply to the four pin Molex connection which actually kind of snaps in there so that is an upgrade and this unit comes with an AC power supply with the Molex four pin on the end uh, when you buy from Techno RV we also supply you and this is an exclusive thing when you buy from us is we give you another power supply that just comes with this for the same cost a cigarette lighter style 12 volt plug to the Molex. Um, so if you wanted to run it from 12 volt, then you would have the ability to do that. Uh, in addition, it does have the GPS receiver here as well. And this is basically just sort of tracking where this, where this unit is. Uh, you don't have to connect it if you don't want to, but it is there for you if you would like to do that. And then they give you some Velcro tape to help you sort of uh, manage the wires uh, in a cabinet or what have you. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, what you get on this unit as it relates to ports. Uh, you do have three LAN ports. Out of the box, you're getting three LAN ports. LAN is basically a hard wire ethernet connection going from this device to say your laptop, okay? So instead of you wirelessly connecting to this, you can hardwire uh, to that. So a lot of people just wirelessly connect, but uh, if you're doing a lot of business or uh, and, and you just want that little extra uh, assurance, then a lot of times hardwire is the way to go, but most people don't do that. They're typically wireless. Now, one of these ports uh, can be converted to a WAN port uh, and if you'll remember, whenever I said that if you're going to get the Wi-Fi as WAN, so that you can say connect this unit to a RV Parks Wi-Fi, then you have to buy that failover license. Once you buy that, then it this WAN port right here, or I'm sorry, this LAN port can be converted to, to a WAN port, which is basically a hard line coming in. Now you can use that for... Uh, if you happen to be somewhere where you've got a hardline DSL cable, or maybe you're even using like a Starlink type thing, you can plug that directly into here, and then this will be managing your cellular plans, uh, your your cable DSL, Starlink, whatever. It can all be managed from the PEP wave. So that is very nice there. As far as your ports uh, here, you're going to have your uh, two Wi-Fi uh, typical SMA type connections here and then you're going to have your two antenna uh, ports for your uh, cellular antennas to screw on the back and then in the middle here you've got your your GPS uh, connection here if you wanted to use that. Now you do have a SIM slot here. Uh, this takes a nano SIM, that's the smallest size and uh, this has the dust cover on it right now, but you would basically take that screw out to where you could see the uh, two SIM ports. So it can take two uh, SIM cards, but it's only using one at a time because this is a single modem, right? But if you had, say, a AT&T and a Verizon uh, or a T-Mobile, you could put both of those cards in here, and then from the console, uh, you can manage 
how you want to use those, uh, designate which one you want to use in certain circumstances. And so we really like it because we can just put them in there and kind of forget about that part of it and then manage everything from the console. So you do need to supply your own data plan. So this is just the hub that gets everything done, but you do need a data plan and uh, Techno RV does have data plans and you can check them out on our website at technorv.com. Uh, we're very proud that we have negotiated contracts with the carriers, like directly with the carriers. This is not any of this third party business that you, you read about that, you know, people are getting cut off and things like that. We went straight to the carriers, negotiated exclusive contracts with them. And you can, uh, when you get your PEP wave from us, you can just go ahead and pick your data card up as well. Now this unit does come with one year of prime care. And basically, uh, Prime Care is going to give you your, uh, your one year warranty. It's going to give you one year of In Control 2, which is the platform to manage this system, say from a desktop or a laptop. It's going to do all your software updates, uh, and, and then it'll also give you access to uh, Speed Fusion. Uh, I've got another video where I talk uh, a little bit more about those different features and what Speed Fusion is. Speed Fusion on this model really isn't going to do you a whole lot of good unless you get that failover license because part of Speed Fusion is, uh, is something called hot failover. And if you don't have the Wi Fi as WAN um, you know, on this from buying that failover license, then you don't have anything to fail over to. So if your cellular went out, hot failover would automatically jump to another service like Wi-Fi. So uh, if you don't get the failover license, then that really doesn't do you uh, any good. But anyway, there's some other features of uh, Speed Fusion that, again, with this unit right here, really only do you some good if you go ahead and get that failover license. And again, most people that buy this unit do go ahead and get the, uh, the failover license. So that's it. That's everything that you need to know about the Max BR1 Mini. If you need more information or assistance, you know we're always here for you at Techno RV. You can call us, you can live chat with us, uh, or you can email us at info at technorv.com. Uh, we want to help you make the decision on which PEP wave is right for you. And uh, I hope this has been helpful.